Somewhere between 50 and 100 Christians were massacred in church today after gathering to celebrate Pentecost in Nigeria. Violence against Christians in Nigeria has been relentless. According to Open Doors, more Christians are being killed for their faith in Nigeria than in the rest of the world combined. But you'll never hear about most of these attacks because journalists don't report them. Since their goal in life is to show us that Islam is a religion of peace and tolerance, they obviously can't post endless stories about daily Islamic terrorist attacks. So, when news about a terrorist attack against Christians somehow breaks through the media blockade, you know that it's especially bad. The New York Times reports. Dozens were believed to be dead after assailants attacked a Catholic church in southwestern Nigeria on Sunday, firing on worshipers as they celebrated mass, according to local officials. The attack at the St. Francis Catholic Church in Owo in Ando State was the deadliest attack on a church in Nigeria in years and brought the kind of violence usually seen in the country's north to a relatively peaceful area of Africa's most populous nation. The attack occurred on Pentecost Sunday as dozens of worshipers were gathered at the church. At least four assailants stormed the building, according to the police. It was the first time that a church had been attacked in the Ondo state in recent years, bringing a new sense of insecurity to a state that had been spared the levels of violence seen elsewhere in Nigeria. Notice, most violence in Nigeria is associated with the north. Ondo state is in the south. What do we know about Nigeria that might give us some clue as to why violence is far more common in the north than in the south? Maybe we'll find a clue as we keep reading. President Mohamedou Buhari, who has promised to end Nigeria's insecurity, condemned the attack as a dastardly act. As of Sunday night, there had been no claim of responsibility, and the motive for the massacre was unclear. Always a mystery. Most attacks on churches have been in the north. I wonder why. But they have become less frequent than they were at the height of the Boko Haram insurgency around 2015. In the southwest, where the church attack took place on Sunday, there have been kidnappings, most often by herdsmen seeking ransom, and there have been conflicts with herdsmen over new restrictions on open grazing. Officials were still assessing the toll of the attack on Sunday, Videos posted on social media showed bodies lying in pools of blood between church pews. Aluale Ogunmalasiu, the majority leader of Ando's state assembly, went to the scene of the massacre and said he had seen at least 20 dead, including many children. He estimated the death toll at 70 to 100. So, church attacks peaked during the Boko Haram insurgency. Strange that attacks against Christians would spike when jihadis start taking over. As always, Nigerian President Mohamedou Buhari condemns the attack while doing absolutely nothing to stop the violence. Buhari is either totally incompetent or he's complicit. Adelegba Timaleyan, a federal lawmaker representing the Owo area, told the Associated Press that at least 50 people had been killed. The attack came amid renewed social and economic tensions in Nigeria, where regular killings and kidnappings have compounded a deep sense of insecurity and resentment of the government ahead of the next presidential election scheduled for February. As mass was taking place around 11.30 a.m., armed assailants shot at worshipers from outside the church, while other gunmen targeted people inside the building, the police said in a statement on Sunday evening. Still no word on motive, though. It is a Black Sunday in Owo, Ando's governor, Arakanrin Akiradolu, said, condemning a vile and satanic attack against people who have enjoyed relative peace over the years. Nigeria is roughly divided between Christians living predominantly in the south and Muslims populating the country's north. Much of the violence plaguing Nigeria, such as killings and kidnappings, have mostly occurred in the country's northwest and center. Oh, now I see. Earlier, we were wondering why these violent attacks are much more common in the north than in the south. And here we see that one religion is prominent in the north, while a completely different religion is prominent in the south. But now I'm even more confused, because for decades we've been bombarded with the idea that all religions teach basically the same thing. 
Sad that no one ever gets that message to the jihadis who keep slaughtering unbelievers in the name of Allah. So, the genocide against Nigerian Christians continues, and what can Christians in Nigeria do about it? Muslim leaders rule the country. These leaders are doing absolutely nothing to stop the genocide. And other countries are so busy reminding us that Islam is a religion of peace and tolerance, they just can't find the time to do anything about genocide. Let's ask Nigerian Christians what they think. I know that a lot of Nigerian Christians are watching this video right now, so let me say to our persecuted brothers and sisters, please share with us in the comments section what life is like for Christians in Nigeria.